Hey y'all, Chef Irix guy here now. Appreciate all your questions and views and shares and uh, subscriptions in regards to the uh, Brinkman electric smoker. And I wanted to address a question that actually many people have asked me about this smoker. This is the, just the uh, the electric version of the Brinkman, and that's the capacity. You know, how much food can you smoke in here at one time? Well, before we open it, I want to show off that. Uh, that thermometer I put in there look at that I just opened it so it dropped a little bit but this thing will smoke low and slow at about 225 but capacity you're not gonna believe your eyes when I open this whoa that is a rack of ribs on the top and then on the bottom I don't know how well you can see it in here but I've got two whole racks of ribs so just to give you an idea of the amount of room in there see that there's half a rack, half a rack there, half a rack there, half a rack there, half a rack here on the top, and half a rack here on the top also. And obviously, I could have put more on the top if I had uh, if I had more meat. But I'm just cooking uh, cooking three racks of ribs today. We got uh, some celebrity guests out on the out on the boat today, so gotta gotta make sure they're fed well and and have a good experience so that's the uh, the Brinkman electric smoker huge capacity and it's something if you're smoking ribs you could even uh, you could even chop them up more I just chopped them into half racks but you could even chop them up into smaller sizes and put more in the smoker because like I said it's a dual layer dual layer smoker there but just really awesome I couldn't be happier uh, and as always when I when I smoke in this smoker I always like to finish them up just to develop a good bark and I'll take them over to a traditional a charcoal grill where I'll burn lump charcoal on these cast iron grates and just really uh, you know get that uh, get that slow smoked meat that's been smoking all afternoon in Brinkman Electric over hickory hickory today sometimes I use applewood and other woods and then put it in there and just really firm it up and sauce it up and, and I do like barbecue sauce. I don't want it to to be the only source of flavor in the meat. Obviously, it's a slow-smoked and tender meat, but I do like to firm it up on the traditional charcoal grill over lump charcoal and just make it really good. Uh, share this video with others. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's YouTube.com forward slash Y'all have a good day.